I'm gonna see what her base attack is too. That's why. I didn't really put the uh, badges on. Like the power plus P badges on her. Oh, it does show you the stylish. Okay, cool. Oh, that's different. She would run towards Mario, not run backwards. It's a little weird. Also, her attack, her base attack pierces, so... Let's hope we get some movers. Just don't do it. Does it say? Yeah, it pierces defense. Three damage. Yeah, so she would do two damage without being upgraded, which is pretty bad. Even when she's fully upgraded, four damage is so bad. But it looks like she gives SP at least. What the hell? Where's my audio? I don't know if it's gonna come off in the edit for this video or when this video is being edited and stuff. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> audio got really uh, crackly there for a second. Hopefully, my capture card isn't going bad. That's definitely not something I want to have to deal with in the middle of a playthrough. Yeah, 
Hopefully I can just quake hammer these early floors and get rid of most people. I think I'm gonna swap to uh, Coops. So if I need to use uh, more AoE, I can just use Shell Shield. Cool, we got the spike pouch. The only reason I'm saying that's good is because we can point swap that and turn into, I think, a rune powder. And you can use that to get the uh, artful cake, I think. I just need it for cooking, that's all. Maybe I should put on a uh, flower finder, that way I can get some FP back after these fights. Because I know it guarantees at least one flower after every battle, so maybe I'll do that. It'll add up if I do a bunch of floors, so... Get rid of these damage dodges, not really utilizing them. Guess I can put one on. Oh, I think my headphones got disconnected. Just a second. Okay, I got them back on. I think I could just jump on him. That's close. I'm not gonna worry too much about grabbing coins. Because, uh, I mean, I'm already making a decent amount after every floor, so it seems pointless to do it. Actually, you know what? Uh, let me get Thunder Rage. Oh, no, that that's a terrible idea. Because I can get them in the Twilight Town shop. So, <laughs> never mind. Don't do that. Because, uh... The Japanese recipe for trial stew was Thunder Rage and Thunderbolt. I want to see if that's a thing in this game. So at some point I'm going to have to have Goombella as my partner, that way I can get Tattles. Maybe I should switch to Vivian after this.
We can also do uh, first strikes with uh, Super Hammer. I don't know if I ever showed that off. It's really good on uh, Pokies though, because they do extra damage. Because the thing that you hit is their spiky bits. Let's see if I can actually do this. Yeah. Normally it doesn't do. I think it does one damage. Since it hits the spiky parts, it does a uh, three. Fiery Jinx is actually a little bit more difficult now because uh, before it would show everything and now it doesn't. I mean, that's fair. Fiery Jinx was a little too easy for what it was. I think it's a reasonable change to do. Oh, they actually go down lower now. I think before, one of the... Uh, I guess you could hit them with a hammer. But you could also first strike them with a super jump, too. If you time it properly. Oh wow, <laughs> that was weird. I didn't expect to hit him like that. Five FP back? Wow. It's pretty good. Two life shrooms. Can you not super hammer first strike? That's weird. Also, I was thinking about getting Mouse to uh, to steal a life shroom, but I don't think she can steal from these enemies because it'll hit her, which is lame. Wait a minute. 
Does this music sound different? I don't think it sounds like the regular battle thing. I guess I'll just have if you do fiery jinx. I wonder, does Vivian take damage or does she just do the spell? So that would be a great, uh, I think a smart nerf because of how powerful a fire jinx is. That Vivian just takes damage thinking too hard. Otherwise she just does the spell but just weaker. That didn't even look like it hit that puff. I think I need to swap to Gumbella here, because I want to get them tattles. Although, I probably got most of the tattles, but I think sp uh, sp Spike uh, Gloombas are here, so I don't have those guys. Speak of the devils. That'd be kind of cool skin for Goombella. Goomba Goombella. Crazy that you would see boosts as early in the pit. Well, they came out at least on floor 40. Hopefully, he just waste his turn being invisible. No. Uh, I think I'll do Sweet Tree and then have Goombala finish him off.
Oh wow, that's a lot of them. I can do... I don't think Tremor's gonna hit them. Or Earthquake? Yeah, it's not gonna work. Earth Tremor will, but you have to get it to a certain level. I can use this on Gumbella. It's gonna check the stage when we have Bobbery use his bomb attack. Or when he appeals too, because he explodes when he appeals. Also, since fog is can go on either your side or the enemy side, will doing actions that remove fog only work on that side or will it just remove it entirely? Something I'm interested in seeing. Because I might make fog even more annoying if it's on their side, but I can't get rid of it. Unless I use flurry or something. Oops. Also, I didn't know there's a little jingle when you get hit. That's kind of cool. Two defense, I didn't remember the matter too. Do I want to flip these guys? Well, I want to flip the clefts, but the Koopa, I don't want to. I guess I'll have to multi-bonk with Goombella. There we go. Also, uh, I didn't know multi-bonk had two stylishes.
Maybe it's something similar like how when Mario does power bounce, he has multiple stylishes after every, like, bounce on the enemy. I don't think I've seen a pair of Buzzy yet. Yeah, I didn't. There are Spike Pair of Buzzies, and the only way I can deal with those guys is if I have Spike Shield or... Actually, Hammer Throw now is a way to deal with them. And a uh, Flurry with a uh, Lip Lock. I think I'll just do Curse Tremor. <laughs> the last one again. Thankfully, I think that's five, so it's enough to kill. I really screwed it up at the end there. <laughs> I thought I pressed it, but maybe I was just too late in pressing it. Oh well. to hammer them and not actually <laughs> flip them over because it'll just be more annoying when I flip them over. We'll just have a repeal. This is gonna affect the flowers we get to. Uh, not so much the flowers. Do I need curd shell? I can get rid of the mistake, I guess. What floor is this? 34, okay. Could get a mover next floor, that'd be pretty sick. If you take it straight to the chest. Yeah, not lucky. Oh man, what? <laughs> that sucks. So we'll do this. Ease up my inventory, that way I'm not getting clogged up on items. I get the level up. What can I equip? Uh, tap tap, maybe?
mean that has a spike shield. We'll do zap tap for now in case I have to deal with those fuzzies again. But if not this set of 10 floors, it's definitely the next one I'll need spike shield. There should still be five though, which is good enough to get the Buzzy Beetles. I can build, I can finish off the... If not finish him off, at least put him on the ground, yeah. I think I already got like 200 coins just from being in the pit. That's crazy. Now there's fog on both sides. Uh, I'm gonna swap to Flurry just to make sure that you can get rid of fog. Don't know why they would take that ability away, but I just thought I'd like to try it. When we get Bobbery though, it'll be just being able to appeal to get rid of fog. I struck first there. Uh, I'll have Flurry appeal. And then we'll do this. Earth Charm are getting a lot of use in the pit. go. Okay, much better at Earth Tremor. I used to suck at it in the original game. Alright, at least getting perfect Earth Tremors. More consistent getting at least to 5 damage. But 6 was a little bit hard for me sometimes. Sometimes I would just press the button a little bit too uh, much when the little icons would be close together.
Thankfully, this is just gonna affect Mario. Put on some danger patches. That's all I got. <laughs> Thought I had more than that. I guess I'll just have that. I mean, I should be fine, but I usually don't go into danger, so might as well just use them while I got them. Ah, uh, this badge. Probably the only other badge I can think of that's as bad or probably worse than, uh, Tornado Jump. Because at least with Tornado Jump, you could make it somewhat better. Also, I need to switch to Kumbella. By adding more badges? So make it do more damage, but... Okay, uh, let's swap to Kumbella. Her title this one. Uh, I would be cautious if you use fire moves against that guy because he will deal damage to everybody, even the enemies, if you make him explode. Here's what I'll do. Have Gumbella heal Mario and then. Yeah, just give him a super shroom. Could use the mushroom, but I want to use that for a recipe later. I don't think you can block that either. You can use defensive stuff to reduce the damage you take from it. But yeah. I think if you defend while doing it, it also reduces the damage, but I don't think I've ever tr tried that before. But when you defend, you have plus one defense, so. Also, I don't think I tattled the bulky bomb. I'm pretty sure there'll be other ones that we encounter. Also, I should probably equip uh, maybe Hammer Throw. Let's get rid of close these two badges. Maybe Ice Smash and Hammer Throw. I guess I could test it out with Gumbella. Have her defend, because before it did two. So if when she guards it does only one, that means that uh yeah it does reduce it, okay. Easy fight. Just took five damage. I guess if I do P down D R oh no, that's just a you want, right? Because we do have a D or P down D up, but I think it's for the partner. Yeah. Putting that on also reduces it because it increases your defense, so. But that's only for partners. Also, I think I forgot to title them again. <laughs> Dang it. So obviously don't use fire drive on these guys, it's a bad idea.
And Miss Mouse can't steal from these guys because they're fire. I think for this, what I'll do is uh, I'll go for the art attack. Normally I would go for the Ur Tremor, but I don't think it's going to kill all three of them. Oh wow, this goes by faster than in the original. You could probably deal more damage with it. It's definitely weird first, but I think I got used to the timing now. Definitely much faster than the original. Which is good because that means you can uh, loop more. Uh, I don't think I have the SP2, but I would like to clock out if I can. Uh, Ice Smash? Uh, let me fire drive, because I think the Pokey in front is going to die anyways. Okay, uh, let's tattle this guy. And next turn we'll, we'll title the other ones. I do have a life stream, so it should be fine if I die, but Mara is also kind of defensive, so that's also another thing that I don't have to worry too much about. Oh dang. I think I died at poison though. <laughs> That's funny. It's like one of the only... Or no, there's a couple enemies that inflict poison. Probably like three or four that do. And he's definitely the worst of the two. Because I don't think you... You see that poison pokey until... Uh, the chapter after chapter chapter six. <laughs> yeah, I can count. I think. Only three damage. That's not how much my hammer does. What the heck? I guess we're better off using Flurry then. Stylish. Finally got it. And it's no biggie if I don't tattle the bulky bull bombs because they are in the upcoming chapter, so. Or this. Coming chapter for Kyoki. I 
think I'll just go for uh, Earth Tremor again. There we go. That was pretty good. <laughs> I think I could try to do Super Guard because it only has the one HP left, but I wasn't too sure if I'd be able to get the Super Guard off. I'll use um, Art Attack here. I don't know if I use Gumbella. This will be enough. I doubt it. Yeah. We'll just get rid of the next turn. Oh, they actually restrict it to a smaller area. In the original, you could do the entire screen of the game. So that's cool. There's another Babon. And that's a hammer, but I press A instead. Not bad. I'm surprised they don't have the uh, Ember loadout too. There used to be one in here. Let me get that title. Nice fire flower. Kind of funny getting that from a Poke Babon fight, but okay. If I do find another Poke Babon, I could just use a fire flower. Not on this fight, though. I 
think we need to swap to Coops for this fight. It's good to tell that when they get big is when they're about to attack. Because usually I'm pretty bad at guarding the uh, fire guy's attacks. So close to a level up. Just one more star point. Ooh, sweet. Get the... HP drain. Oh, just one more fight. That's good because we need the level up. We don't need the level up, but we're going to get one. I think with Fire Drive and Coops we'll be able to beat this. Okay, well that's just overkill. Would have loved to get double start points here at least. I just got Merle, so it's a bummer. She only came a little bit after, not to give me the buff. That was a pretty good way to end this uh, pit stuff. Get a level up and then get the strange sack. Also make a heck of a load of cash. I think that's 400 coins we've gotten here. Wait, only 20? Why just 20? See, because in the original, you're only given 10. And then when you get Strange Sack, they gave you 20. So it doubles your inventory. You only get 5 extra? Dude. <laughs> What's the point of starting you off with 15? Ugh, that's so lame, actually. That's upsetting. I, <laughs> I was really expecting more from that because they give you more in the beginning and I thought, oh, well, you know what? I was expecting at least 25, maybe. But, oh, man, that's disappointing. Um, should I go get some recipe stuff? Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> 